The boys and I are fishing on a giant frozen lake to try and catch a terribly invasive fish called the Northern Pike. We'll be using these big live baits on these ice fishing traps that have a spring-loaded flag which shoots up when a fish takes the bait. I just saw that go. Cam here has never caught a Northern Pike before, and Gary has never even gone ice fishing before, and we're not leaving until both of these missions have been accomplished. Albert here also chose to bring a gas stove and tent so we can eat and take breaks, but ultimately, fishing takes priority. 15 minutes. Oh, shoot, we got a and if we're successful, we'll get to use this outdoor hot tub at this amazing main cabin with a view. Our first stop was Walmart, where we picked up everything we might need for a successful day of fishing. What's your relationship with Lil Debbie? The idea was breakfast food, but let's just say some of us had different ideas of what breakfast was. You can't go ice fishing without your Voodoo Ranger. Juice Force IPA. Eventually we got all the ingredients we were looking for, which meant it was time to head out to the fishing ground. But first we need to get bait. So we went to a local spot that had a line that was pretty much out the door, and it was full of dudes who all wanted bait for their day of ice fishing. Thankfully this nice woman working the net made the line go by really quickly. And believe me, rounding up exactly a dozen bait fish is a lot harder than it looks. So we loaded up the bait and headed to the spot where Cam and Gary were waiting for us. We loaded up the sleds and started making the long walk to the fishing spot. And if you've never seen Maine in the winter, no, that's moose. It's a moose. It's a moose tracks? Yeah. It's pretty sweet. We arrived at the spot, which meant it was time to drill a million holes and rig them with traps. If you're not familiar, an ice fishing trap, or a tip-up, is a spring-loaded flag connected to a spool of line. The idea is you put some bait on the line, and then load the flag. And when a fish comes along and takes the bait, it rotates the spool. And when the spool rotates, it trips the flag. In the state of Maine, you're allowed to run five traps per person. And there were four of us, which meant we could effectively fish 20 traps. We had a lot of drilling, and a lot of rigging to do. Let's go with this guy. Yep, if I can get him. Let's catch us the biggest pike in the pond. We spent the next half an hour rigging up all our traps, but before we could even rig up all 20, flags started going off. What do we got? Flag. Put the flag back on. Oh, he's going, he's going, he's going. Remember, you can't wait too long. That was not 30 seconds, kid. You said you can't wait too long. No, that's what I'm, sorry. I meant the opposite. You can't. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah that was my bad. Pike, they love to T-bone baits. They eat it straight up sideways. What happens is they'll pull. What happens is Mike tells you to do the wrong thing. <laughs> the thing is Mike's English isn't too good. Uh, of course it isn't. <laughs> they'll T-bone the bait. They'll eat it sideways and then they'll run with it for like a long time. You can wait like 30 seconds for that pike to actually eat the hooks. It was my bad there. I meant to say to Cam, you can't wait. We got another flag. Right here, right here, right here. Wait, count to 30. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going for it, Mike. 30? You just stopped running. All right, crank him. Got him. Got him. Attaboy. Yep. Attaboy. How's he feel? Feels good. Pike, pike, pike. Oh, yeah, he's a ton of. Got a lot of grass on him. Like that's a pike. Oh, no, it's a pike. Flag, flag, flag. Cam had caught himself a nice bass, but before we could even celebrate, all the other flags started going off, and Gary just took off running after him. Gary, don't rush that one. Hey, don't hit it till he stops. False alarm, false alarm. Unfortunately, Gary got one of the many false flags that day. It could be that the fish picked up the bait and then dropped it once it felt the tension, or the bait was being especially lively and set the flag off. But finally, we had a flag that had a real fish on it. Flag! Flag, flag, flag! There he goes, there he goes. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> this is the audio clips you got. Cinco, seis. Oh my god, oh my god. Tres. I mean, it's been 30 since we sat down. Okay, okay. So you can, you can hit him. There we go. Dead. He's coming right up. He was heavy when I said Dude, it. Dude, this is a flurry right now. Pike. Pike. 
<laughs> Let's go. First pike for Cambo. Ah, uh, Gary! I got a pike! Dude, is that not the most sickly looking? That's a very skinny boy. Even though Cam's first pike was extremely malnourished, it still meant we accomplished our first mission. And Cam was literally about to pack up and go home until Albert hooked up on a fish that made him want to stay. Albert's on a pike. He says it's a big one. We're about to find out. <laughs> this is so dumb. Let me tell you the story. I put this down. This this. This flag broke off. I didn't have a flag, so I just left the sucker in to go switch it out with this one. This had no weight and just sitting there. I come back, there's no line on this thing. I'm like, dude, shout out Nate, dude. Work buddy. He's actually fishing the Belgrade right now. That's why you're not going home at noon. Yeah, you're right. While Cam was obsessing over his new mission to catch a big pike, Albert decided to take advantage of the opportunity dude, and chill. I can just watch this tip up right there. This is kind of sick, huh? Hey, come on in. You just set this up? It's my crib. <laughs> After a little flurry of uh, morning fish, got a little hungry from running around, so got some bacon and eggs, gonna cook up some breakfast. We need like a wooden spoon to get all this delicious crispies off. Yeah, I think I have a... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Try to not break out the tofu. Bro. <laughs> Cam, you want a bacon, egg, and cheese? Yeah, Gary, on the other hand, just started wandering around by himself and checking on the tip-ups. Boy, I... Mean... And eventually, he made his way back to the tent. Gary, you want one? Sure. Bacon, egg, and cheese? Oh, sure. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I also gave Gary a GoPro for the day, which he took very, very seriously. Let's get a close-up of the food. It's pretty nice in here, huh? That's a spare, Gary. But let's not forget exactly why we're here. One of the side missions was to catch a fish in the middle of a meal. So we're all hoping for a flag to interrupt our nice breakfast time. Gary getting in there just changing the wind direction coming out of that thing? I smell it. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, you want it now. Okay, so, um... I was on Instagram at night, because that's what everyone does, and I was looking through people's stories and then cams popped up, and it was a picture of the lake that was 15 minutes. Oh, oh shoot, we got a flag. Flag! Flag and sandwich. <laughs> oh, that's the good one, too. That's the one that might have a pike. He's gritty. <laughs> oh, it's way off to the side. It's way off. He might still be there. I would check. I would count to 20 and check. Because sometimes they grab it and they just cruise. They don't swim hard. I'd say it was about 30. Oh yeah, he's on, he's on. No! Dude, oh. after you just gave me so much shit, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Bro, we sat down no, no, and it was no, like no, easily no, no, 30 no, seconds. No, 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 no. Brogan, when I tell you this guy gave me more because I set the hook too quick. Wait, count to 30, count to 30. One. He said it so fast. Unfortunately, I had lost that fish, and you can be the judge as to whether or not I waited long enough. So we returned to the tent, and it wasn't long before we were called away yet again. Cambo, your sandwich is ready. Are you not gonna go set the trap? I will. I'm after, telling after a story. The, after the sandwich and after the story. Okay, so, <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> I was going through people's stories. And then I see Cam's. He's 15 minutes from the house that my parents just bought up in Maine. So I texted him. And then here we are. That's yours. Okay. You said thank you. I, I successfully did not pop the yolk. This is what I was trying to flip with. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. Dude, that's I made it work. You guys are getting too comfortable. I know. Mm -hmm. You just got jealous after Albert got that monster bike. Mm -hmm. Shout out to. Uh, off-brand craft single. Sandwich meat, single American. <laughs> and the right brain, hickory, thick cut bacon. Wouldn't be able to be out here without you. Mm. And the chicken that made that egg. Guys, just, just some advice. If you want to do content creation, don't have any friends because they will roast the hell out of you the whole time you're trying to make a video. Hold on, hold on. Can you say that again? We need to get the camera on it. But they weren't even able to bust my chops for very long because a flag went up shortly after. Hey, do you want to watch this? <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. 
So we all ran to the tip up and I was up again to make up for my lost fish. And to make sure I didn't set the hook too early, I really let this guy run with the bait. Oh, oh my God. Dude, that's the move, like 10 feet off of the thing. When it's spinning, it doesn't have an edge mouth. 20. Got him? Yeah. Uh, I think it's a bass. Oh, it's a bass. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a nice bass. Yeah, this is such a pretty one, dude. Yeah. On oh, my big one. Oh, big one! And Uncle Sam put the name at the top of his list. The bad news was this flag was just another dud. But the good news was that Gary got his first fish through the ice off camera. But the thing is, we all kind of had pike envy after seeing Albert's big one. So we all now wanted to stay out and get one. We decided to strike a deal. When there's a flag, only the person who gets there first can reel in the fish. So we set up all the chairs in a row and started eagerly looking out for flags. And you might be wondering how we're able to stay warm with not that much clothing just sitting out here on the ice. Albert's modeling the new tactical with the people hoodies. These are ultra heavyweight hoodies. They're 450 grams. Just to give you an idea, average hoodie or maybe like 200 grams or so. I want to make sure the material was super heavyweight and uh, you don't have to wear that many clothes over it. This is the first merch drop ever. I'm not even making that much money off of each hoodie and there's only 100 available. So get yours while you can. Says the kid that cries poor and then also like eats out like twice a day. That's true. <laughs> I talked to my mom, I'm like, you know, mom, I chose to not take a profit this year because I want to support my local economy. Oh yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, I, I just I, do it for the local businesses, you know? Well, I choose to pay my federal income tax to support the government. That's a... Oh, oh, oh. I want to support my local <laughs> government. <laughs> oh, you're talking about right now? No, I just have to go piss. Just kidding, f*** you assholes! <laughs> Oh, for the content. Oh no, it's spinning. Oh, it's going. I might run out of line. Dude, take it. Crack him. Dude, that's a monster. Dude, it's humming. He's got it. Bro, crack him. Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. This might be a giant. Cut on the hook. The hook? Yep. Oh yeah, baby. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Banana bread at work dude I saw it and then I saw it spin and I could see like the flash and I was like oh I'm gone these guys don't even know as soon as I stood up and I just said I was going pissing you guys in the back of my eye I was like I'm you know why because I did not think anyone would be that low to not say flag and get everybody <laughs> even started. that's what I thought help flag it was as if the fish were paid actors because literally just as we released Cam's Pike, another flag went up. And this one belonged to Gary. You know, I could have just said I have to go piss and then came and got this, just so you guys know. You're right. You chose the honest route, Cam. Uh -huh. we, we appreciate uh -huh. that. Don't give him that much slack. Pull. It's stuck. Yeah, yeah, reach in, reach in. That's where Cam comes in. <laughs> Dude, that's not a that's another stud. At all. That one's fatter than Cam's too. We had successfully gotten Gary and Cam on their very first pike. And everyone was super happy because it meant we didn't have to stay out until dark, which Cam totally would have done to catch his first pike. But before we could relax in the hot tub at the cabin, someone else still needed to catch their pike. Bye. Oh, it's a pike. It's a little one. There it is. Hey. Not that little. Dude. That's it. It's loose though. You just need to stick your hand in there a little bit. Something we haven't really talked about is how sharp pike teeth are. This little guy wasn't hooked very deep, so I made the mistake of thinking I could just do it with my hands. And I quickly Ow. learned the hard way that that wasn't a very good idea. I was trying to get the treble hook out with no pliers, and I just nicked the tooth just a tiny bit, and I'm already already bleeding. So Now that we completed every single one of our objectives, we headed to the cabin to claim our much needed reward. What is going 
going on here? <laughs> this is as close to royalty as I think I will ever <laughs> there. Oh, it's hot. Give it a second. Give it a second. Oh, hot. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is wild. This is so nice. <laughs> the fact that the ambient air temperature is like 30 and then right here it's 105. Huge shout out to John for this awesome cabin. If you're interested in staying here yourself, I'll leave a link below. Oh, and one last thing. Use this QR code to check out my very first merch drop. There's only 100 of these hoodies available.